Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome to a game called Insurmountable. This game is all about climbing this mountain. So do you guys like survival games? Dying due to cold weather and games that are so hardcore that if you die you have to start all over? Then this game is definitely for you. So let's hop in and let's check it out. So we're going to start a new game on normal difficulty even though we have ins insurmountable difficulty. I can't say that word very well. I'm sorry. Speech difficult. All right. Let's go. Weather affects not only your stat changes, but also visibility. Keep an eye on the weather, and that went way too fast. Hello? Weird crunchy sounds? Ah. So this is the mountain we're climbing. The insurmountable mountain. All right. So we have to try not to die. And I don't know how many things that means. Okay, so in order to successfully complete a mountain, you have to navigate your character along the tiles uh, to the marked goal. Time will not pass and your stats will not change until your character moves. Left click on a tile to add a checkpoint. Right click to stop the character or remove it from the final checkpoint. Alternatively, you can press the mouse button to move your character or stop your character. Okay, well, we're going to check this out. You can open the tutorial again via the pause menu. All right. Uh, you cast your gaze over the enormous mountain landscape. You have traveled across the globe seeking out adventure, but this island is like nothing you've ever seen before. Island or mountain? As far as you could tell, it's largely unexplored. The only information you could find were a few rumors about an unknown occupying force. On the way here, you stumbled across an abandoned property in lost places. You wonder what happened here, what secrets the island is keeping. Then you shake your head, it might be nice to have some answers, but your goal is clear. Reach the summit. That is why you are here. That is what drives you. Alright, well, we're going, um... Ah. Oh. Well, walkie walkie. What the, what the... What? Okay, don't click multiple times, apparently. That's, that's a mistake. Alright, so I made it here. Did something happen? There was like a, uh... Something or another there. All right, here, go all the way over there. Actually, uh, yeah, go go there. Go. All right, so what is this? This is sanity. I'm now losing sanity. Okay, I also have energy, oxygen, and body temperature. Camera control. I got you. I was already doing that. This is the camera control. This game looks really pretty, by the way. It's all in octagons or hexagons or whatever these are. Keep on making your way over here, my dude. It's going to be okay. All right. Unexpected meeting. A gust of wind catches you and you almost fall into a deep fissure. You flail wildly, your arms trying to keep your balance. Suddenly, someone grabs your wrist and pulls you back from the edge. That was close. Just a second later, and you would have fallen to your death. You, cer you certainly tell... Sternly. You sternly tell yourself you will really have to pay more attention. Don't depress your luck when there's danger at every turn. Your knee's still weak. You take a look at your rescuer. She's a young woman, a therabod anorak. Anorak? There's a green stone fastened around her neck with a leather strap. Fascinated, you stare at the hand-carved charm. Its glow is almost hypnotizing. The stranger coughs and, without saying words, holds some provisions for you to take. Hey, thank you. You want to give her something in return, but you search through your pack. You finally find something to look up, but the strange woman is gone. A bizarre meeting... But you can tell, uh, but you can't help but to be grateful for her help. Continue on your journey. Uh, inventory and items. Wait, this is my inventory and items. Leftovers. Put that oxygen tank in there. Confirm. Free oxygen. Full respect to the oxygen. How do I go up here? Ooh. Can we go up here? Go up here. Climb! Is there a fast forward button? I would really like a fast forward button. I don't know how I get more sanity. Apparently, I'm just going to be crazy. Fine. So there is another talking point right here. That's why I wanted to go over here. I can, like, zoom way in, too. How you doing? I like your backpack. Your backpack's nice. You got a little pot on there? Cook me something to eat? I am quite hungry right now. All right. Animal research. Hidden behind a wall of rock, you discover a snowed-in shack. It looks abandoned. You must have stumbled across a guard post from the former occupiers. Go inside the shack. There's an unpleasant smell in the air. You cannot pinpoint its source. Beneath the folding 
Beneath the folding cot, you discover a thick clump of fur with torn out pages next to it. You're about to take a closer look at the pages when you hear a snarl from outside. Uh, look at the pages. Yeah! There are hand-drawn sketches of cougars. Uh, they show animals in their natural habitat, including mountain regions. Suddenly, you hear another snarl. Closer this time, a cougar here? That can't be. Or can it? Stay here and search the shack. Yeah, if there's an animal outside, just stay inside. You'll be all right. You find some provisions in a locker. Just as you are tucking them into your pack, you feel something sharp pierce your shoulder. Without a second thought, you slam your elbow into the attacker's face and flee the shack, but you hear a wild snarling coming from behind you. You need to put up some distance between yourself and the shack before you can stop the, your wound. Status, minus some health, plus an auction bottle, plus a climbing rope. Okay, I am now hurt. So let's go ahead and put this away. This away. Very good. I now have two climbing ropes, two auction bottles, an entire tent, some hot tea, and some canned food. I am now hurt. All right, well, where's the next zone? Ooh, where do I get there? Go there. Yeah, whatever that is, go there. I don't know what this is, but I'd like to see that. So you must have just used a climbing rope. Did you use a climbing rope? I can't look at my inventory while they're moving. That's going to use up like a lot of my energy. Well, this is my health. I only have 20 health? I took like a lot of damage. I took three and a half damage there. That's almost a quarter of my health. Just poof. It'll be all right. We're super mountain climbers now. I could climb any mountain. Call me Master of Everest. Since I have the mountain, I like that one better. Keep on climbing, little gal. What is my name even? Does it tell me what my name is? All right, I found a shrine. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly, toothless smile and motions you to sit to recharge your strength. You do as she suggests, and you regain health. Nice. Oh, crap. Well, go all the way over there, I guess. I really, really wish there was a fast forward button. That's one thing that I wish that there was. If there was a fast forward button, this would be way better. But there's a treasure chest over here, and I want to find out what that is. I need to camp soon. Is there a campsite? Uh, there's another treasure chest right there. That looks like a mountain. Treasure chest, treasure chest, treasure chest, whatever that is. Uh, earmuffs? Holy cow, I have a long way to go. Look at that. I gotta climb a whole friggin' mountain. I love that picture, though. Might be my background or my thumbnail. Airplane! You trudge along the sloped pile of high with snow. You sink deeper into the drifts with every step until suddenly your boot meets resistance. You push the snow aside, exposing a metallic surface with the colored markings on it. Faded, but still identifiable. There's no doubt about it. You found the wing of a downed airplane. All right. Uh, examine the wing. Dig deeper or continue my journey. Uh, dig deeper. You dig and dig until you uncover the cockpit. The glass shattered, so you take extra care as you lean through the hole of the windshield. There's no trace of the pilot or human remains, but you find some provisions. It's remarkable they survived the crash without even a scratch. I found a whole tent again. I leveled up. Ooh. All right, well, I'm going to have to sleep soon. Let me, let me level up here. Uh, fast movement. Reduce time when... Mo mo Ooh, time cost when moving. Or preserve more energy. I'm going to do time. Speed is key. Let's do this. All right. Now, we got that. Can't make it there. How do I... How does one camp? Sleep. Think briefly... Uh, it's going to be nighttime by the time sleep long. In 55 energy back. Start. Tent durability. My tent durability is still... Oh. Oh, it's dark. Oh, it's very dark. All right, make your way there, little, gear, little one. Let's go. There's a thing over here, though. Should have went over there. I'd do this. I'd go over here instead. Okay, let's cancel this. I don't know what that is. Let's go over here. I want to go over there. Can you go over there faster, please? 
Death zone 6,000 meters. I'm already at 4,000 meters up the mountain? Holy crap, I've made it a ton of d distance. I, I already got my sleep on, though. Tutorial, how dare you tell me to sleep after I've already slept? That's not fair. This is just a whole lot of hurry up and wait. I bet you this gets crazy cool, though, as time goes on. Like, as you get up there, it probably gets even more difficult. You start running out of auction, you start running out of food. What's this guy? Stop. Okay. Inventory. Sleep. Well, we're going up here to whatever this is. I think that's a talking thing. Paratrooper. As you stand under the farm skeleton of a tree, you look up and stifle a scream. A parachute is tangled in the treetop and dangling from its cords to the mortal remains of an unknown man. I'm going to take a closer look. Pull the body down. Continue. Climb the tree to take a closer look. The dead man is wearing the uniform. Military. Did he die in the line of duty? Maybe his family is waiting for him. You are overwhelmed with grief, grief and shame because the dead soldier is carrying supplies you desperately need. You dismiss your pangs of guilt and tuck the equipment into your pack. I found myself a... Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just move a couple things here. I found a climbing axe. Firm. Level up. Take it slow. Gain some energy, body temperature, and oxygen while walking up. Well, waking up. Not walking. Waking. Press of energy. Reduce the cost when moving and climbing. Yes. Yes. Ray, I am higher level. Please climb up here. My sanity's way lower now because I just saw a dead guy. It's alright, you're gonna be alright. It's just dead people. Dead deer. Now we're running into everything dead now. You stumble over the corpse of a deer with no signs of decay. The animal died almost only recently. The remains are chewed or herbs cling to its snoot. Uh, its last meal, probably still undigested. You could cut it open in the animal stomach to get the herbs. Give it a try. Lose some more sanity. It's going to be all right. You did it. You indeed found some un undigested herbs in the deer's stomach. Sounds delicious. Let's eat it. These give you plus 20 sanity and minus some health. That's good because I need some sanity. All right, climb over here. Whatever this is. I found a mountain sign, so climb over here. Yeah, we pretty much reached the peak of this tiny mountain. Please climb quickly here. Wait. Oh my god, there was a there was a speed up button that whole time. Okay, this is gonna go way better now. Cave. You enter an extensive network of caves. Towards the rear, you notice an extinguished campfire laying in front of it's a stranger bundled up in a fur blanket. Uh, wake the stranger. You approach the mountaineer, but he doesn't react. You bend over and gently shake him. The stranger blinks at you in bleared disbelief and sits up. After a while, he begins to clear away his camp, pack up his belongings. Before he goes, he reaches into his pack and shares his provisions with you. You thank the stranger, and he, he, and he pays you no heed. I got another oxygen tank. Can I, like, eat this? You want to use this? Yes. Um, I don't, do you want to use... I'm going to just use a couple more things. Here. I'm going to use the climbing rope? No. I don't need the body temperature thing yet. My sanity is almost full, so I'm just going to use that. Move my T, move my climbing rope, give me some more O2. I need another backpack. You guys got another one? Once again? Okay. Lie down and sleep. Cave, no tent needed. Uh, sleep long. Sleep brief. Sleep long. Start. It's going to be daytime out again, but I'm just chilling in a cave. Hopefully nothing eats my soul. All right. I win. All right, now where do I have to go next? How do I get over here? Oh, okay, we have to go back. Can I go this way then? Go all the way over here. Actually, you know what? Go all the way up here. Go, 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 go. This fast forward is so much better. Here, let's zoom in and watch her climb really fast. You climb so good! Oops. Weather! The weather can change every morning. You see the current weather and forecast for the next day in the lower left of the screen. There are three different types of weather. Normal, cold, and stormy. Alright, well, well, we'll get through there. It's, uh, normal and clear. Can't, I can't actually zoom out. Can you just continue on your journey, please? There we go.
I'm actually going to, like, cancel all of this. And I cancel all... Oh, God, it's dark again already. Let's go. We're climbing up here now. I found another cave. Maybe we'll find more people. I'm still not running out of oxygen, so I must... I need to get about 6,000 meters in order to run out of oxygen. All right, we found another cave. You enter a cave, it's dry and sheltered from the wind. Lie down and sleep. Let's sleep another... Let's, let's do another long sleep. Let's do another long sleep. Get some more body temperature. Get some more energy. Get some more daytime. It is now... Clear, and tomorrow it's going to storm. Okay. Let's go up here. Climb me rope! This game's pretty fun so far. I think it'd be pretty cool to play a full playthrough of this. It's fun to climb a mountain. Deer stand! You climb up into a crooked, rickety deer stand built by hunters to survey the terrain and shelter from the elements. A pile of soft furs is on the floor. Looks awfully inviting. You consider taking a rest. A gutted deer hangs from the ceiling. The meat is fresh and juicy. Your mouth starts to water. Uh, take some of the meat and leave a gift. Minus one air tank. Oh, I'm, I'm not my hot tea. No. No, not my hot tea. Oh, I left my hot tea. I hope I can make more. All right, let's go to this shrine. Also, I leveled up. We're going to need to level up. All right, a jingling... Uh, a jingling fills the air around you. Harmonious and melodious, uh, followed by the sound of falling rain. You follow the sound to discover tubes of metal and wood tied together to a bare treetop, dancing and striking each other in the wind. You watch the wind chime and lose yourself for the fleeting melodies. You regain and health. Definitely health. Alright, climb all the way up here. I want to go all the way up here. Let's level up too. I can't. I need to I need to stop moving first look ice oh wait that's that says exclamation point i hope i don't fall okay first of all let me level up uh ignores dangerous terrain yes all right there are three types of terrain rock snow and ice each type considers basic movement standard terrain and additional sub -terrains. The cost of moving of any type of train depends on the character's equipment and skills. Some trains can involve additional skills. So this is probably ice. Um. Oh really, what is this? So this is... Can I not climb this? Do I have to go this way? Here, let's, let's go this way. We go, we'll just go around it. You can't trick me there, game. I'm the best. Also, you are fantastic at free climbing. What is this? I want to go up here. Can you, how do I, can I do that? I don't know if I could do that. I don't think so. Go this way first. Although there's dangerous rock up over there. Let's try. We'll see if I can do it. If my person falls to their doom, well, then that's the way it was meant to be. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Get up here. What is this? Wonder. Northern Lights. What a sight. I gain a bunch of XP and sanity. You know what? Let's rest. Let's just go ahead and get some sleep on. And let's do a long sleep. Go ahead and start that for me. Sleep through most of the night. All right. I get over here. I can. Let's go. I'm not even 5,000 meters up. I still have so much more to climb. It's crazy. But so far, the story's pretty cool. Oh, there was a person to talk to right there. Oh, well, I messed that up. Oh, God, the storms are terrible. Cave. You enter an extensive cave network towards the rear. You notice an, an, an extinguished campfire lying in front of it's a stranger. Wake the stranger! 
You approach the mountaineer, he doesn't react, but you bend over and gently shake him. The second the stranger touches you, he leaps through, but as being stunned by a rattlesnake, he knocks you flat on your back. As you lie cowering on the ground, he packs his things and disappears out of the cave without a word. Vex, injured torso. Minus two oxygen in an hour while moving? Oh. Leave the cave. Go up here. I'm going to lose oxygen while I'm moving now. Found another weather. Or wonder. Shooting stars. Gain energy back. Make your way over here. Maybe we could find a med kit or something inside of this. Whatever this is. It's hard to see things when it's stormy. Closed container. You come across a corrugated metal shipping container covered in rust. It's closed by means of a massive lock. Maybe in the occupiers used it, to sto uh, used it as a storage facility. You could try to break it open. Uh, try to break it open. You grab a nearby rock, wind up, and whack the lock with a round bang. No luck. The rock remains undamaged. Keep trying. Success. The lock breaks, and you're able to see inside the container. All that effort paid off. There's some valuable equipment. What do we got? Some snow boots. All right, uh, let's eat that. Yes. Uh, move this. Can I, can I get those in? Can I turn them? Can I rotate things? Uh, let me... Try... I don't think, no matter how much I try, that this is going to happen. Hold on, let's, let's do this. Okay. I can't actually equip any of it. Can I put these on? Aha! Firm. Level up. Uh, reduce energy cost while moving and climbing. Reduce time cost while moving. Uh, lower energy cost on steep terrain. Do that one. I'm on the edge of glory. Alright, where am I going? All the way over here. Go! The storm is pretty neat, though. I like the storm aspect. And tomorrow, it's going to be cold. All right. Injured. A local man sitting up against a rock face waves you over. As you approach him, he holds an oxygen bottle. His face contorted with pain. He says something to you, but you can't understand a word. Um, find out what's wrong with him. You look at the stranger who keeps grabbing his shoulder. You're sure that he has dislocated it. You gesture to him to hold his hand out to you. You pull it with a jerk. He screams, and then there's silence. A few seconds later, the stranger is bl uh, beaming at you. He seem It seems to have done the trick. He hands you the gift and thanks. Ooh, I got some gloves. Eh. And then I got another auction bottle. I don't really need this. Um. I, I can't... Can't... Can't rotate it. I'm sorry. I have to leave it. As sad as that is, I have to leave it. All right. Well, guys, I think that this is a great place to leave it. We just saved somebody's life. We've seen some wonders. We've done some awesome things. And there's still a whole friggin' mountain for us to climb. So if you guys want to see more of this game, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.